نام خداوند جان و خرد که از این برتر اندیشه بر نگذرد خداوند نام و خداوند جای خداوند روزی ده رهنما Today we are going to tell you an ancient Persian story from Iran Zahak, the legend of the Serpent King. Our story begins with the magnificent King Jamshid, the ruler of seven realms of the known world. He was benevolent and virtuous. He had all the fairies and demons under his command and the world prospered under him. To pay homage to their king, his people built a magnificent throne. And on the first day of spring, the fairies and demons carried him on this throne way up in the sky over the lands he ruled. Jamshid's divine bliss was revealed as a light, like an illuminating sun around his head. But there is more to the story. As time passed, Jamshid became arrogant, drunk with his power. He believed that he was the one who created the world and that everyone owed what they have only to him. Because of this arrogance, the divine light was taken away from him and his authority began to crumble. It was not long before another power-hungry ruler was gaining control in a neighboring land. His name was Zaha, the Serpent King. One day, the devil, disguised as a cook in the king's court, prepared delicious meals for Zaha. The king was delighted. He told the cook that he could have any reward he desired. The devil deceitfully asked Zahak if he could just kiss the king's shoulders. Zahak agreed. But as soon as the devil had kissed the king, he disappeared. The king felt a burning pain throughout his entire body. And from the very spots that the devil had kissed, two vicious serpents grew. Shocked and frightened, Zahak did not know what to do. He summoned all the doctors from across the land. But no one could cure him. Once more, the devil appeared. This time, disguised as a healer. The devil told the Serpent King that the only cure for his suffering was to feed his serpents the misery of others. So Zahak started a reign of tyranny across the lands. And since Jamshid had lost his power, the Serpent King easily took over and became the fearsome ruler of seven kingdoms. He made Jamshid's two beautiful daughters, his servants. But 
even that did not make him happy. He called for dancers. But they could not make him happy either. He called for musicians to entertain him day and night. But nothing could distract the serpent's hunger. Zahak's tyranny continued for a thousand years. But as fate has it, what goes up must come down. One night, Zahak had a frightening nightmare. He dreamt that a young warrior with an oxid mace attacked him fiercely, attacked him mercilessly, and finally, with the blow of his mace, threw him to the ground. The king woke up shivering. Immediately, he summoned the court astronomer to interpret this nightmare. But the wise astronomer dared not answer him. After three days of silence, the astronomer came forth and said, Soon, a baby will be, be, will be born by the name of Feridun, and he will grow up, and he will overthrow your rule. Enraged, the serpent king sent out scouts everywhere in search of this Feridun. A woman named Faronak gave birth to Fereydun. Fearing that Zahak scouts would find her son, she asked Barmaye, a beautiful cow, to care for and nurse her baby. So Fereydun grew up with Barmaye as his nurse. Some time passed in the peaceful meadow. But eventually, Zahak's soldiers discovered that a boy was being hidden there. They came, but before they could take the boy away, Faranak rescued her son and escaped deep into the towering mountains. Once there, she met an old kind shepherd. She introduced herself and her son as refugees from the king's tyranny. The kind old shepherd took Fereydun in and cared for the boy for many years to come. Fereydun grew up to be a wise young man with the ability of a fierce warrior. Faronak realized that the time had come. She told Fereydun of how the evil king had taken his father and beloved cow away. Fereydun, filled with passion and desire for justice, left his mountain home to face his fate, to fight the Serpent King. On his way, he met Kaveh, 
the blacksmith, who was also a victim of the king's tyranny. Faridun asked Kabe to make him an ox head mace in the memory of his beloved cow. After three days, Kabe gifted Faridun with the mace and the pair began their journey. As they traveled, a massive army of oppressed people gathered, ready to fight the Serpent King with them. They marched towards the king's palace. However, to get there, they had to cross a large river. Crossing the river seemed impossible to everyone. To everyone but Fareidun, who with his knowledge and determination, discovered the way and led them across it safely. They reached the Serpent King's well-guarded palace. An epic battle began. made his way to Zahak. The evil king attacked him. But Faridun was too powerful for him and threw him to the ground. Before Faridun could finish the evil king, the angel Sarush appeared in the sky. The angel decreed that the serpent king's last hour has not arrived yet. Instead, he must be imprisoned in a cave deep in the mountains. When the battle finally finished, Faridun imprisoned Zaha in the deepest cave in the tallest mountain. As the new king, Faridun brought prosperity and happiness back to the people and restored hope in a better future. He freed Jamshid's two daughters and Faronak was reunited with her son. People came from all corners of the land to salute their new king. On the day of his coronation, there was a magnificent celebration called Mehregan, which people still celebrate to this day. Zaman biandu gashd az badi, giraftand har kas rah izadi, dil az dawari ha bepardaqtand. به آوین یکی جشن نو ساختند نشستند فرزانگان شاد کام گرفتند هر یک زیاقوت جان <تصفيق>